Number two is that we say that God wants to guide humanity. So to guide humanity, he did not came down to become a human. But from the humans, he picked messengers and prophets. So one of the commonalities that we have between Judaism, Islam, and, uh, and the Christian faith is that we believe in almost all the prophets mentioned in the Old Testament. Prophet Abraham and Moses, Ishmael and Isaac, David and Solomon, all of them are mentioned with prestige, with honor, with love in the Quran. So we say that all the prophets, they came to invite humanity to worship one God. So that submission to one God in Arabic is Islam. Number three, quickly, God sent revelation. You know, when we went to schools and colleges, there were notes the teacher gave or the textbook or the guides. So we say that God gave many books in the past. And the last book that he gave through Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the Quran. So in the Quran, you have guidance about how humanity should live with each other. It has solutions for humanity and it has a pathway to paradise.